What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm going to be showing you a new tweak that just hit Cydia called App ETA. Now this is actually a really cool app. It's something that I definitely will be using on my main device just because I have kind of a slower internet and it takes a while to download games and it takes forever actually to download games and it'll be nice to see the actual progress. So what this is going to do is show the progress of your download when you're downloading an application. It's also going to have a lot more features. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what this does. If we open up the App Store and we start downloading an application, so we're going to start downloading this one right here, you can see that we have, first of all, a percentage right there in the middle. So it's going to tell us that the percentage that it's downloaded, as well as loading right there, a little loading bar right at the bottom of the application. Now, if we double tap on this, then you're going to get a pop up. And there's actually a different theme for this as well, but you can see you get the name of the app, the status, the size that you've downloaded, as well as how much is left, the time left, the speed, the developer, the app icon right here. You can dismiss this. You can go directly to the app page or you can cancel it. So if we go to the app page, obviously it's going to go directly to the app page. Also, if we open this up, you can dismiss this entire little pop-up or you can cancel the download altogether and it's going to delete it right off your page. So let's go into the settings here and I'm going to show you everything that this has. First of all, you have a kill switch right up here at the top. And if you enable or disable this, you probably will have to respring. I haven't actually disabled it yet, but it says you might need to respring if you disable that. So right down here, we have double tap. So do you want to have the double tap gesture where you can double tap and get that little pop up right there? You can also change the alert style. So if you want a white alert style, then we'll check that out too. And right here we have the classic progress bar. So the classic progress bar is just that bar that was at the bottom of the icon that uh, just shows the progress of the download. Now you can actually change the color of the progress bar. You can see up here that I have it set to purple. So if we tap on this, it's going to change to red, something a little more different, maybe blue. And you can actually tap animate right there and it'll show you exactly what that looks like. So you can go through here and decide uh, what color you'd like if you like the classic progress bar on your device. So we'll just do yellow. And we'll scroll down here to label on icon. So do you want the label to be on the icon? And what do you want that label to be? Do you want it to be the percent or do you want it to be the estimated size? So since we saw the percent the first time, let's go ahead and check the estimated size. And down here we have default progress. So this is going to show the default iOS 7 progress style, which is just that circle right there on top of the icon that fills up as it progresses through the download. You also have alarm ETA and alarm ETA style. So I'll show you that in just a second. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, changes that we made to the uh, app ETA. So we're going to go back into the app store. We're going to download this once again. And when we go back, you can see actually instead of having that percentage, we have the size that we've downloaded and how large the application is completely. So we also changed the color of that progress bar. So now it's yellow. And if we double tap on it, we get the white pop-up and has all the same information as you can see right here and everything does pretty much exactly the same thing so we're just gonna cancel this and now we're gonna go back into the settings and I'm gonna show you the alarm ETA so what this does is first of all you can enable or disable this and then you can change the ETA style so you can either have a long style or a short style now this might be helpful for some of you guys so if we go into the clock you can see exactly how much time is left before the alarm goes off if you want to toggle this on. Now, once you toggle it on, right when you toggle it on, it actually goes away. So that's kind of a bummer. I wish it would stay up right there. But if we go down here and we scroll back up, it actually pops back up. So that's just something to keep in mind. It doesn't automatically go back. You do have to scroll down a bit, and I'll show you that right here. So if we scroll down, you can see that it pops back up. But this one didn't pop up because it didn't go high enough. So we'll scroll back up and scroll back down. And then there it is. Now we'll show you the short version before we get out of this. And let's go back. And we'll scroll up and scroll back down to let it refresh. And now you see it says 15 hours, 22 minutes. So basically the exact same information, just a little bit less text. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe also don't forget to like my facebook page and follow me on twitter for updates and if you haven't checked out my gaming channel go over there and stop by and say hey all right guys until next time peace